got here for our presentation, and um, we're gonna we're gonna present we're gonna have a presentation about Japan. Um, so hopefully you guys will enjoy it. And uh, this is a mountain, um, Mount Fuji in Japan. Uh, this is the highest mountain in Japan. It's a kind of symbol. So when you see when you think about Japan, I think you. Uh, many people think of this kind of picture and maybe some cherry blossom with it. Okay, so I'm gonna um, start presentation. Uh, but last night, um, <laughs> last night I went to a bar and with Morgan and Johnson, and I was drinking until 5 a.m. Oh, I would say so this morning. Um, and watching soccer game Japan and Mexico and Korea and Brazil. Both of us obviously <laughs> lost. And we, I was kind of sad and, and, and I'm so tired. And, and I, you know, I, I was making this presentation after this game, so I didn't even know uh, what I was uh, thinking about at that time. But uh, this means um, we're going to have a much better. Japan versus Korea. And then, I'm not sure about um, um, how many of you guys are aware, but this is a huge, uh, huge deal. I mean, big deal for uh, Japanese people and Korean people. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna compete each other uh, for a third position, which means a blonde medal. But no matter what the color the medal is, uh, all only thing which matters is Japan and Korea because we are kind of rival historically and like, economically always so like even soccer like skating and like, whatever baseball we are all we are always excited about um, the game we, between Japan and Korea so I think that seeing these pictures um, do you guys notice something the flags are similar yeah, exactly. It's really similar, right? So, not only flags, we have so many things in common. Um, ever since I came here, I noticed that uh, we have so many things in common. So, um, I try to introduce Japan uh, in a way that you look at uh, Korea. So, uh, this is outline. So, um, I'm gonna try to uh, introduce Japan uh, through the perspective through which you uh, saw Korea. Uh, I hope it, it will be uh, help, help, helpful for you guys to uh, understand Japan easier, easily. So we're gonna start with poetry. Uh, by the way, I love this picture. <laughs> Poetry, you know we made up poetry, right? Um, in Japan, we have a lot of thing, uh, a lot of poetry too. And this is for tea party, and this is for uh, rice, and we eat rice every day with this. And also, this is my favorite uh, uh, sake. <laughs> this is called tokuri, and which contains a lot of alcohol in it. And then this is uh, ochoko, which it's a cup. So, yeah, and I heard that we're gonna drink tonight, right? With the uh, teacher, right? So I'm looking forward to it. And um, so basically, we're, this is uh, Japanese poetry. And then, um, yeah, it's really similar. And then next, oh, this, this is also poetry too. Yeah. Right? This is from animation. Uh, next is, oh, oh, martial arts. <laughs> this is raw kicking parties. <laughs> uh, in Japan, I'll, I'll, I know Korea have te taekwondo, but we have uh, ken kendo and karate and judo. And I think taekwondo is similar to karate, but uh, while taekwondo is characterized by characterized by like right kicking action, but um, Karate is characterized by, 
characterized by fuck my English. Uh, characterized <laughs> by, by, by punching actually. Like you know, see that uh, you can see karate jump here. Um, I don't don't try it. I mean, I I once tried it. It really hurts and nothing happened. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, but basically that's uh, Japanese martial arts. And then, really, 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 I, and we have kimono and yukata, and then this is, um, you, you cannot see so many people wearing it right now, but if you go to Kyoto, which is a really historical place, you, see, you can see a lot of uh, geisha wearing kimono, it's really beautiful. And also this is yukata, it's really clo uh, similar to kimono, but usually where we wear it for a summer, uh, summer event, and it's really it's really cute, right? And then, um, yes, yes, yes. and then the guys gotta be careful because why? Uh, well, yukata is when you wanna when you wanna look prettier, the yukata is the best way to wear. I mean, uh, when you girl, when girls wear yukata, they look like thirty percent uh, more prettier. Or, uh, <laughs> or, yeah. Oh, it's true. So it's really. Um, so now, well, this season actually, uh, if you go to Japan, uh, you're gonna see a lot of summer festivals, and you can see a lot of uh, these cute girls. Yeah. And you're gonna see, if you go to Tokyo, you're gonna see a lot of people wearing like this, but it's not traditional. Are <laughs> uh, <yeah>, food? <laughs> um. Okay. Um, food. Um. This is sushi and soba and gyudon. And how many people here think that Japanese people eat sushi every day? No. no. Okay, okay, good to know. Um, we don't eat sushi that much. Like, we eat sushi for only a uh, special occasion, like um, a wedding or graduation or whatever. It's really expensive sometimes. And also this is gyudon. It's basically it's a beef ball. And then, uh, it's really cheap if you want to eat it in Japan. It's like maybe $3 or $2. It's like a hamburger for American people. So we, when we get hungry, uh, we can always go to one of the gyudon shops in, in a town. And then it's beef and onion and soy sauce. It's really good. And then, yeah. Now how to use wooden chopsticks? And you know, I noticed that Korean people use silk, uh, stain, stainless chopsticks, right? I've never seen uh, wooden chopsticks here, as far as I know. Uh, but if you go to Japan and in, in a restaurant, you're going to see a lot of uh, wooden chopsticks, which you have to uh, divide into you know, two parts by yourself. And then there's uh, some instruction on YouTube uh, that show you how to use uh, chopsticks. So. <laughs> We're gonna watch a video. And then, it doesn't have English, but, uh, English <laughs> subtitles, but I hope you can get an idea. さす。挟む。切る。混ぜる。そんな便利な食器。ナイフでもフォークでもありません。箸です。日本での食事には必ず箸が使われます。このまっすぐな棒が箸です。片方の手で2本。This is a bamboo plastic. It's a born from animals. It's called waribashi. In the restaurant, you can see a lot of them. You have to... Kihon no 
That is horrible. So you, you're, you have to keep your mind on your side. Unless you want to. Yeah, it takes time to get, yeah, to get used to it. And there is a fast force. <laughs> very well. Uh, they feel really friendly to them. So it's really important to use chopsticks uh, uh, you know, in a good way. Not like that way. <laughs> okay, and next is pop music. <laughs> um, K-pop has some famous idols and J-pop also has idols. And AKB48 is the most famous idol in Japan. So we will introduce about AKB48. So watch the music video at once. It's the news about AKB48. They fought um, for the center position by the game of um, Caesar Rock um, their CDs have a ticket to vote, and some artists sell the CDs with something um, extra like a ticket to vote or to join some events. And so CDs are in great demand in Japan. I can't find any city shop in Korea, but um, there are many shops in Japan. And we can find many shops of used, used cities or rental city in Japan. So um, I <clears throat> so we were looking at Japan through the uh, perspective we had when we look at the Korean culture, uh, but it's really similar sometimes. But it, sometimes it's different. But 
So it makes me wonder, what is really Japanese? So what do you think is really Japanese culture? Sushi. Sushi. Okay. Uh, anything else? Anime. 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 Yeah. I thought many people would say that. And then, so we gonna introduce uh, some uh, unique country. Culture, which is anime. Um, this is Pokemon and Dragon Ball, and then this is Naruto. Um, I'm not the kind of person who is obsessive about anime, and I, you know, uh, sitting in my room and watching an all day anime. But uh, when I was a kid, I watched a lot of anime, and it it was really fun. And then some of them are really good, like more than uh, drama or other uh, movies sometimes. And then, uh, uh, my favorite is Studio Ghibli. How many people here know Studio Ghibli? Okay, not a lot. And um, I know I know some people don't really like anime because they think it's childish sometimes. But Studio Ghibli is really accept accepted by uh, people from all generation, and uh, it's. Um, it's, I think, world well known, I guess. And then, one, this is Mon Princess Mononoke.